Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. This is a really quick share with you guys on a project that I did. Oh, golly, was it Sunday? I mean, I literally cut everything, I printed everything, I put it in, and that was that. And we were watching some show on the Discovery Plus about oceans and beasts of the ocean or whatever, and it was so good. And then I worked on this and it was so much fun. So this is a Darling Simply Gilded. There are two piece, a five by seven, and then I believe this is three by four and a half, and, um, or three and a half by four and a half, I can't remember. Um, little mini album. And it, um, it you, with both of them, you get the little bow and you buy them both. And so I just did it. And then I just went to town. I used one of the paper kits from, um, uh, stamps of life in one of my monthly subscriptions and I just thought it was just so pretty and happy and floral and so and that's what this is about so as many of you know we have had um, gardens and it started last year when we had to come home with you know the said issue <laughs> and so um, we couldn't get food and we're vegetarians and so it was really really hard and I was sick and so we had to be careful and my husband potentially was sick so we just had to be really careful we couldn't like go into a grocery store we couldn't do anything and we could not get anything we, there was no curbside um, there wasn't any delivery none of that the main thing that we found was Amazon and um, we used what we had in our fridges and yes I did say fridges but because we're vegetarian vegetables and fruit only last so long in the fridge and then you're eating lots and lots of carbs so you're eating lots of potatoes and you know things like that so you you really need the green and all that so we started on this gardening journey and it is now safe to say it's an obsession <laughs> we both walk through the gardens every single day um, I'm literally saving the two patty pan gorgeous yellow humongous patty pan squash for us to pick together tonight I already picked some chard, Swiss chard, and we have some red gorgeous mustard greens and just every, we just tried everything this year. I don't think there's any, we, the only thing, have we not, we haven't done turnips and I'm trying to think if there's anything else we haven't tried. Um, I'm really into edible flowers right now, so that's a lot of what I'm doing too. They have such great medicinal value besides herbs. I do tons of herbs. Um, so... I have been taking, my husband and I have been taking these, here's what it looks like along the way pictures. This isn't all of that, but I did take some of my favorite pictures for this year and printed them out. And mainly for this spring. So um, in the kit, we got paper, we got stickers. Um, I added this Darling DEK beautiful freebie I got in one of my orders. And this is a DEK, um, a friend from DEK, um, Dawn from DEK sent that. And I added that in because it has a flower and there are these kind of flowers in it. And the donut, uh, maybe I'd take that one off, but anyways. Um, but I love it. And I've even thought about taking that and adding it to this little charm. And this is just stuck on to the um, clip of this. So I love it. So there's my page. I haven't put the date yet. I will put the year and then I, I'm i not going to put, I'm gonna take this off now so I can clip it, but um, you will see here in a minute. So this is for our spring. And all I did was take the scraps and cut that out and layer it and it made a beautiful title. Seriously guys, use what you have within your kits. Go for it. Take, like right here, these are all scraps, and I wanted them all to be seen, so I stacked them, and then I even stacked them again. They're all usable scraps. I can go back in here and add them in any project, or if I want to make a card, or however I want to do, you know, I've got a few things here. Now, there is a set of scraps I still have left, and I will use those for other projects. I did not use the cardstock, and I did not use the stamps and dies, and next time I will. But it was a fast project, and I was doing it. Um, our son and daughter-in-law came by, and we loved seeing them, and we misunderstood. I thought they were coming for just a few minutes, and then they were upset because I was trying to shoot them out the door because my husband had to work, and it was raining. We were standing in the rain, you know, drizzling. Um, pretty big drizzles, but drizzling. And I didn't wear our masks because, I, you know, we didn't know they were going to stay. And so it, it just, it really... 
I tell you what, it's been such a difficult period of time. So I only tell you this to say we all make mistakes. And I misunderstood them. I think they misunderstood me. Um, there was all kinds of chaos with that visit. And it wasn't any one person's fault. It was just a collective misunderstanding. And so when I came in, I just wanted to take my family pictures and focus on my family for a little bit because all I could think of was I'm not with my kids and it's killing me. And um, I'm with my youngest, which I adore. And I would love to hug my son, daughter-in-law, my daughter, son-in-law, and my grandbaby. And so I printed tons of pictures, I think Saturday. And so Sunday, I just had fun. So I labeled it spring here. And this is just a picture that I printed out on my HP sprocket sticky back paper and it's just Texas wildflowers and then the blue flowers came with the kit they're not wildflowers they're not blue bonnets but I just thought how pretty so I added that this is our barn our barn got a major renovation at Christmas and then there's all my baby guineas running around so I just had to add those in and then now oops I better cover that up because I can't do that I can't show family pictures I'm sorry I think that's the only one so this is our grapes and it's my husband there and he's talking about the grapes and then here he is here. That was our dewberry patch. That was a God gift last year. Um, it literally showed up out of nowhere when we couldn't get groceries. And we ate those dewberries every day. We thank God they were fresh. We put them on oatmeal. They were very sour. Not my thing. But we were thankful. And it, this had probably 10 times in last year. In a matter of like two days, they com something had to be wild birds completely wiped out every single berry we have about a quart size ziploc bag and my husband had seen one down the road on what by one of the farm fields completely wiped out so it had to be something flying loose so and i've left enough space to come back and journal and i will journal um just personal stuff so you didn't want to see all that <laughs> and this is a kubo and lacy i believe on etsy and so if i can find that link i'll link that but there um she has like um, this color or the, like the dusty pink, black and red. And I love these. I got to go back cause I left them and they just look like flowers. So here's our special needs chicken, Edwina, who jumps up and literally when he holds that pecan up in the air, she jumps up and eats it out of his hands. She jumps in his arms. Yes. And she's very, um, very special needs, but very smart. I keep telling my husband, she's smarter than you think she is. She has gifts and talents in other areas, just like all special, you know, everybody does. Whether you're special needs or not, we're all special needs. Let's get real. But um, I used to teach special ed, and I used to say, you know, even my children who were quadriplegics, couldn't speak, couldn't, you know, walk, couldn't talk, couldn't, you know, do all that. You know, sometimes their gifts were just in their gorgeous smiles when they saw you. What a gift that was. You, I just, you know. So, Miss Edwina is very special, and she believes she's not a chicken and she escapes the chicken uh coop every single day before we let them out so she's pretty smart and uh like we were driving to go get I don't know, somewhere the other day with my husband and she followed him to the gate and then followed the car so we had to go back and put her on the property <laughs> and locked the gate and he took her to the back and gave her a whole thing of our pecans it was so funny and i told him i said she's no dummy she knows who's got the goods you know <laughs> so she's so sweet so we have had just amazingly cool days so i took a picture off my screenshot one day saved that um and then things like um i've forgotten the term of this but just things that have popped up from last year tons and tons of all different kinds of basil and tomatoes and so this was just a picture of some of the extra blessings and then just our garden so this is my um uh, porch gardens and the different things we planted and even with all the rain we've ended up with gorgeous flowers and just beautiful things and then um some succulents and mint and then here is what we call our bucket garden where we have lots of buckets and some raised beds but mostly buckets and um that is in the wee early stages of it all so we had leftover things from winter like swiss chard uh kale uh, curly kale um cabbage all of that and so then when we came back in and lots of herbs and so then we came back in we added things and we've had <clears throat> pardon me several things show up 
that with that as well. We had our first head of cabbage. We're going to cut that. We we're supposed to do it this morning, but we'll do it tomorrow morning. I like to cut those early in the morning. And we had rain the other morning, so we couldn't cut it. So, And then if you can just see, we have just had prolific uh, Swiss chard greens, everything. Just amazing. I mean, we've been so blessed. Um, our lettuce has finally bit the dust. And not only that, all my baby lettuce, we've got some kind of little something that's eating me clean off of all my baby lettuce, even up on the porch. So it's just not, it's time right now. So we're going to let that go. And these kind of greens are really um, even more nutrient dense though I am. Yeah. And we are growing like some specialty um, off not quite spinach, but like there's an Asian version of it that you can put in stir fryer, add it to salads. And then, um, you know, you can use your nasturtium leaves. Um, they are fantastic in salads. They're bitter. And so they really help with digestion issues and full of nutrients. And you can eat the flowers too. I've yet to get any flowers. I must not be in enough sun yet. And then um, also you can get, uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful greens from all your edible flowers and of course your herbs. So fantastic choices for our salad eating were totally good. And um, just more of those greens that you can see. And then um, I put in butterfly. This is what's called, I grew up calling it Wandering Jew. I don't know if there's a new name for it. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, kind of purple succulent thing that just spreads everywhere if you let it. So we put it in a container. Something broke off in one of the rains. I stuck it in an old empty poinsettia uh, pot that I had just sitting there. It's already rooted. Um, it's just one of those uh, beautiful colored plants that gives and gives and gives, and it's no muss, no fuss, easy to take care of all of that. Butterfly garden, beautiful flowers, that's all that is. Um, it literally said for butterfly garden, so yeah. When it bl it's blooms, it's beautiful, it's purple, those two look so beautiful together. Um, we're still working on that sitting area, so that's why it's kind of gruff in that picture behind it. Carrots and radishes in the early days. Um, there's my little bitty petty pan when they were little and <laughs> they were out here in this garden in the raised beds. I've got, um, eggplant and I've got, um, whoops, I skipped one. Sorry. All these different seeded things I'm trying to grow. Um, we have, uh, lemon cucumbers. We have two different kinds of one is squash. One is a cucumber and one is Armenian and one is... Can't, it's another from another country. I can't remember. And then we have tons of cucumbers already. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, if you don't know about this, this is the best kept secret. <laughs> my daughter just brought this to me. My mother used to make toasted angel food cake. Yes, you heard me. It's low in calories. Um, if you make it from scratch, it's pretty healthy. I mean, as long as you don't go crazy with the sugar, you can control your sugar a little bit better. Put a little bit up and we mix, we use grass fed butter and you um, can mix it with a little bit of olive oil or, um, or avocado oil, you know, to break down as much calorie. I mean, oil is oil, it's fat, it's fat. But um, anyways, insanely good. It caramelizes it somehow and it's savory sweet. It's insanely good. So uh, this is my treat when I finish. Um, anyways, so this is a frog for my parents and it is a little statue. I have several of their statues um, and it says welcome. So he's in the front garden, but this is all, these are all herbs that just popped up from last year and they aren't even where they were originally planted. So yeah, cause you know, when the, when the, when the little pollinators carry all the goodies. So, and this is, we're growing raspberries out in our pasture. I don't have any pictures I don't think I have any pictures of the pasture in here, which I had noted. So these are raspberry leaves. So we're going to make a tea out of that. Can, uh, dandelion flowers, which I was drying all of these. And I believe that that is lemon balm. So all of those are for teas. These are beside our driveway. We took out all my, my son took out all of these gorgeous antique roses that we had um, when we moved in. They were suffering because of all the hackberries that were growing up in them. And I was, to be honest, I was very sad and upset. And so my husband, when we talked about putting in more gardens, I said, well, why don't we put them in there? And that's how it got started. And then it just went crazy. And so this is an old bookshelf we converted and lined and drilled holes. It's not growing as well as the cloth raised beds. So we've learned a lot. Um, a lot of people, um, we did these to get started we will only continue to use these. They breathe better 
things grow faster, et cetera. And of course we use organic, um, beautifully composted soil and it's just beautiful. And this back here is a bucket. My husband bought it like Walmart and he goes, oh, it's pretty big. I think we could grow something in it. So because it's not food grade quality, I will not put any food, but I put um, flowers in it. So I thought those would be pretty and they were flowers for decorative. And then we have hanging, uh, hanging pots now it is so hard to get hanging pots when you are not in stores so i ended up with these tiny little things from amazon i was totally disappointed but you know what we're going to use them anyways and a lot of the flowers help with pest defense on your you know fruits and vegetables so it's and herbs it's totally worth it so we put up i think eight or nine of those pots and um yeah they all were planted with seeds with dandelions with um uh -huh. I think marigolds and the nasturtiums. So very, very pretty. And again, more room to put things down to, um, to, you know, leave comments on. And also when you guys are doing any kind of other project and you have like white cardstock, you can trim these out. These are perfect little places to put things down, you know, for, um, you know, journaling. You can make your own journaling cards. You, you can use a corner rounder. You can do whatever you want. You use a punch and punch out a heart. It's totally perfect. Um, and again, there's more of those puffy stickers. These are those little pots I was telling you about. Again, really small. I think that is Italian dandelion. And those are nasturtiums. I have different kinds of nasturtiums. Um, our watermelon's going crazy. Um, peppers and... We've had peppers pop up as well. We, we just are just so thankful right now. And again, this is all that paper. It's double-sided paper, so I didn't have to use. This particular one has two sides of pockets. I only used one. So, yeah. I mean, this is a perfect uh, mini album if you have one-sided paper, which in the future I will order these because I have one-sided paper pads that I want to use up. Um, tons and tons of herbs. Uh, this is summer squash. These are grocery store organic uh yellow gold uh yukon gold potatoes and my husband was like where'd we get those and i said from the grocery store and he said are you kidding me i said nope i grew the grocery store of potatoes so i'm anxious to see what's going to happen and those are just big like seven ten gallon potato sacks um yarrow i've got to cut it it's gorgeous i've been reading what to do with it these are things that just come back every year. Yarrow came back. Chives came back. Um, garlic chives came back. It just comes back year after year. You don't have to do anything. Um, we plant uh, flowers in every bed, um, mostly marigolds to help cut down with pests. In the future, we will plant lots more marigolds. Um, lots of just other things growing. You can see here how tall this particular bed, the tomato is literally, these are 12 inch or 11, 10 inches by the time you get to the soil height. Um, that particular tomato is taller than me. So yes, they are growing so fast <laughs> and big, huge tomatoes. We we're already eating them. They are fantastic. This was early on our first big tomato. We were so thrilled. Um, more goodies from the garden. And if you didn't know, right, here's our driveway. Here's that little flower garden. We have our water for the birds. Um, we have cattle next to us and I went to go get in my car. I heard something moving. And I looked up and they were sitting there. They were standing there looking at me. So, um, yeah, our neighbor's cattle. So we, that's a completely empty pasture, um, hundred plus acres. And yeah, it's amazing. So gorgeous black. I don't know if it's black Angus, but gorgeous black cattle looks like black Angus. Um, lettuce in the back that did not grow well because then when those wooden, uh, containers, we just do not think that, they get enough air. My husband and I have talked about different things we can do to help aerate them more. And then more bucket seeds that I started. Uh, strawberry watermelon in. We, we are adding. Um, let me see. Yeah. So if you keep going down that way, we have continued to grow and add more and more gardens down this way. And so these little buckets of the... Um, uh, the watermelon, strawberry watermelon, those are going to be planted in those rounds. We have, we've put up one this weekend. We'll put in three more over the next, you know, week or two. And, uh, we have the soil already on the trailer and we're doing all that. Plus we're also adding rain, you know, catching, uh, we have 
literally five 250 gallon 250 gallon plus tanks that we'll be adding so we can filter our own water we can water our plants with our own water rainwater and um, it's too bad we didn't catch up before all this rain but the amazing thing was we bought them off of craigslist and for the cost of one new we bought five used five <laughs> for the same price and no shipping no tax and um literally um it, they were used you have to watch what they were used for and these were used for tequila and though we don't drink we'll flush them out good the best thing we could have done was flush that with alcohol and so we're gonna we're gonna wash those we have high pressure sprayer my husband will wash them out and then those will be where we catch our rainwater in so it's gonna be perfect and this is when we were getting our um storage container delivered and that's my husband helping the man as it came off the truck and then this is just one of our like my husband says it's like a park lawn and it is it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's part of our lawn and our flags and yeah so and then we have a barn here that has the texas flag on it he painted and then we have our um, peach tree loaded. Uh, I think we've already eaten all those peaches. I can't remember. As I was pulling out the onions, we've never had big onions. This is such a blessing. Um, I've already picked two. Um, I will use one tonight in dinner probably. And then just as when after the storm, my husband was putting in uh, peaches and nectarines and plums and all that good stuff. This is a picture of... What we do every night, we go and I get all the herbs and then the ones that I can make a tea out of. This was a lemon balm and um, he's on it. Yeah, you just have to take a sound off. Thank you, baby. Lemon balm and my own lavender. I know. And so you can see the lemon balm. You can see the lavender. Yes, I have a French press that I could press those out and you wouldn't see them. But for me, and I think I had a little mint in there too, for me... Um, I just wanted to see what it would look like with the lavender in it and it was gorgeous and it blossomed in the hot water. It was the most divine evening tea ever. Um, people talk about lemon balm tasting like a lemon sorbet. I think it tastes like, um, Fruit Loops and then you add a little bit of lavender in there and it's phenomenal. And then if you put mint in, it just takes it right over the top and sometimes we'll add elderberry um, honey in just a little tiny taste and I mean yeah it's Fruit Loops I'm telling you it tastes like Fruit Loop tea it's so good but um so I layer all the herbs as I pick them and the greens and whatnot and then I come in and wash them and sort them and do all that lots of goodies you guys have seen this if you follow my Instagram um these are the egg bites with things from the gardens that um we um I loved making that this is garden goodies this is a mozzarella uh, bread and it is so yummy and it's uh there's no carbs in it so it's so good had that with some strawberries one day and then um all the ferments we're learning to do and how we're eating them on salad um this one is a carrot ginger this one is a garlic onion and this one is onion basil and tomatoes and they are all phenomenal um so good for you great probiotics greens from the from the um this was all of our lettuce that we left over and over, all the greens. And then this was a vegetable stock that I created, and it was so yummy from all of the... And that was last year's um, vegetables that I had kept in a Ziploc bag in the freezer, and it was perfect. It was perfect. So I have loved that. Um, and I just kept the scraps in the freezer, and then I threw them in a pot, and we literally just made beans with them, uh, like a bean blend, and used that half gallon of stock with a little bit of water in it better than any chicken, vegetable, beef stock I've ever had. And um, it was free. It was all the scraps I was going to throw away. So it was fantastic. But charred... Um, just various greens from the garden and yes and then last but not least it's hard to see it but these are the wildflowers grown on our property and i picked them and i put them in my kitchen and i put them in the window in a little vase and i just have to say that you know what some people see as weeds i pick as flowers so i literally have um where my um, flat leaf italian parsley is going to seed I picked those and those are flowers in my kitchen. I also have my mustard seeds that I planted that you buy at the grocery store. I planted those and I have gorgeous yellow green, you know, green leaves, yellow flowers. 
and I've picked those and put them in my kitchen. I've picked um, the sage flowers from my um, my herbs sage. I've also picked, um, of course, the um, the lavender. And so, whatever you see is something that's beautiful, and you know you might want to press it in a book and use it in your art projects. You know, you just have fun. You know, take what is yours. I pick responsibly. I only pick um, a small amount so that it can continue to seed and reseed um, for this year, for next year, what have you. And um, yeah, it's just a lovely process. So I had to say that it was a part of the sweet moments. And even though it's not a great picture, I know what it looks like. And I will be pressing some of those flowers and I'm going to put one right there. So, okay, friends, all I have to do is go back in and journal and that's it. So I, this was an afternoon evening project. Again, watching a little TV. Actually, it was an evening project. Um, had things printed out before and absolutely love this little um, uh, album. It's a mini album. And again, this is Simply Gilded. And I've got some of my DEK in here. I've got some of my, um, stamp, it's all Stamps of Life paper and stickers and just had a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's always boring to look at somebody else's pictures, but hopefully as you saw each page, you could see things like, um, these are the cutouts. And so, um, if you can't tell, there's two pages of cutouts. So I put the cutouts in, these are cutouts and you get the leaves and the flowers. And then I even did like half seas, cut them in half. And I even got to where I cut some of the puffy stickers in half, too. I'm trying to see if I can find one of those. But, and I left some pages um, where I might add other things. I don't know. Here's more of the um, cut aparts that I cut in half. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to be adding pressed flowers. And I may do some of that stamping. Here's one of the puffies that I cut in half. So, you know, you can do whatever you enjoy. Let your album be yours. Let it be something that would encourage you. And I just look at this and think, what a blessing. This is, this is spring blessings to me. So, all right, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Did you like this? Do you want me to share more? Um, and most importantly, thank you for being here. So glad you're a part of this channel. Or if you're not subscribed, um, thanks for visiting. We're so glad you're here. And if you'd like to subscribe, we'd love to have you say hello. I'd love to say hi back if, if you feel comfortable. And um, of course, I have all the DEK discounts below. And if there's anything else, you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, friends. And I know a lot of people send me messages like, how do you do your ferments? They're easy. Do them. Um, it's so easy and it's so good for you. It's such a cheap probiotic, literally. But anyways, I know I'm, I'm opinionated, but I can tell you how to do it cheap. I promise. Okay, friends. Um, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Um, sauerkraut is a ferment, if you don't know that. Um, salsa can be a ferment. And um, let me think of something else. Yogurt's a ferment. Kombucha. All those are ferment. So, yeah, it's it's not crazy. I promise it's good for you. <laughs> this is the old fashioned way of preserving food. Um, all right, friends, I will be talking to you all soon. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Love y'all. Y'all take care. All right, guys. Bye bye.